Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazunki, and we're gonna be starting over. I just started on the death screen because I freaking lost the challenge, man. Oh, I'm really mad because I had Mom's heart pretty much red barred, and then I died. And why this is such a frustrating thing, and why it caused me to rage a little bit, even though it takes quite a bit for me to rage over video games, I don't typically do that. Amnesia. Well, thank you. That's just a wonderful start is because this challenge is annoying and not really what I would consider a good time. But we will be doing the Waka Waka Challenge because the Waka Waka Challenge gives you an extremely, extremely good reward after you beat it, and it isn't really that difficult of a challenge. You wouldn't think so, anyway. I start out with the Strange Attractor as well as, like, Gravitron Tears. I'm not really sure what they're called, but... The Tears are suspended, and they don't move until you release the Fire Button. Or you can additionally just spam the fire button to fire as normal if you so choose to do so. Additionally, there are no item rooms because there are no item rooms in most of the challenges. I think there's like two challenges with item rooms, but the rest of them don't have them. So, overall, a very annoying challenge, and uh, but the reward is so worth it. So that's why we're going to be doing this one. And we're going to be fighting Girdlings. Wonderful. You know, I love Girdlings. I really don't, but... Um, so the strange attractor is gonna drag stuff towards me and they're gonna kind of like follow on a trail of tears Which is interesting and there's also an item in the game called trail of tears. I believe really I walked on the creep really but Apparently that's what happened. You know, that's what the game said that happened So I got to go with the game on this one I got to believe it so he just follows on my tears and he takes damage on the tears So we get a damage up which is awesome kind of what plagued me the last run and the reason why I miserably failed is I just didn't have any damage so I was kind of fighting mom's heart or mom's foot with you know I had one damage up the entire run so like and no, nothing special other than the uh, clearly obvious tear effects that I have and I already took red heart damage which means we won't be getting a deal with the devil which means we're probably screwed on this run as well but I'll attempt it you know it's only a mom's foot kill you wouldn't think that it's that difficult of a challenge and I wouldn't have thought it's difficult either until I actually attempted it. So, of course, there's going to be a Tinted Rock in the, the very next room after we took Red Heart damage. But, it is what it is, I suppose. I mean, as long as I get damage ups, that's really all that matters. I don't care if that comes through a deal with the Devil or what it comes from, but we just need to get those damage ups somehow. So, this is going to be a very interesting room. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd be taking damage here. So, all these flies are just going to follow me because of the Strange Attractor, and they're going to run into the tears, and they're going to die. Hopefully. I'm trying to look around and see if there's any tinted rocks as well, but I'm not seeing any. It's kind of funny how these huge rooms troll you. They almost never have tinted rocks in them. You're like, oh, 50 rocks in a room. There's bound to be some tinted rocks here, right? Nope. And there almost never is. So it's usually like the smaller rooms that don't have a ton of rocks in them that have the tinted rocks. I just, I think that's funny. I'm not really sure why the game decides to work in that way, but it does. Is there still something alive? It must be. Oh, one more. A little bouncing maggots. We get a bomb out of that, and if there was a tinted rock, I'd be able to use this bomb to blow it up, but there isn't one, so... I almost want to blow up these skulls with this bomb. I might as well, right? Pretty good chance for a card or something good from them. We did get a card, the Hanged Man. Well, no thanks. We're going to just continue on with Judgment, and uh, hope that I manage to get some money so I can play this Judgment and get something super OP, like Blue Candle, if it exists in this game. I'm really not sure. I'd imagine it does, because I think... Like, pretty much all the old Isaac items exist in this game. I know there is a new item, new candle item called the Black Candle, and I'm not entirely sure what it does, but the Blue Candle was really good, and I, I really hope it's still in the game, because that was one of my favorite items. And I'd like that, because of nostalgia, and as well as just general biases, I like the game to be easier, because I struggle with it quite a bit. But, we're looking for our boss room here, and who knows, you know, I still theoretically could get the devil room. I have like, what, a 10% chance for it or something? Probably not going to happen, but if it did, one thing that would be really interesting with the uh, Strange Attractor is if I managed to get like a Krampus fight, and then I managed to get um, a Lump of Coal with it, because Lump of Coal increases your damage dependent on how long your tears are on the screen. And obviously with this item, your tears are on the screen for quite a while, so I imagine that Lump of Coal would just give you crazy high damage, and you could just like one-hit enemies as you walk past them, so... That'd be fun. You know what else would be fun is me getting a, uh, a red heart drop to refill some of the, the red hearts I've lost. I don't think it's worth using a bomb to get a red heart here unless I manage to find a tinted rock somewhere. I am searching. I am looking. I am not finding. So I really hope that this boss is Monstro. 
and it is Monstro. Hey, how about that? You ask and you shall receive. But Monstro is really, really easy with this particular setup, so that's why I like him. He just gets drug towards the tiers. He runs over them, and he's not really that difficult to dodge because he's not drug around by the tiers at like a frenzied pace or anything. It's a fairly slow, fairly easy to track pace, and it's just I'm just noticing now like how low my health is, and really am quite disturbed and perturbed by it. But Monstro works quite well with the uh, Gravitron tiers. And we managed to get the Devil Room anyway after taking all that Red Heart damage. That is some luck. Without a doubt. Do I take both of them? Do I take both of them? I take a little Brimstone, and we we got to go for the Nail, right? We have to go for it. So, you know, I will have a little Brimstone now, which is a much easier way to, um, to manage to keep track. Well, it's a much easier way to fire at enemies, and you can actually use your tears in a way that makes sense to human beings. And also, this nail should, theoretically, be able to um, grant me some soul hearts over time. So, and also, it gives me a ton of damage when used in the room with, you know, when I activate it. So, I get I get health from it, and I get a whole bunch of damage from it. And I just, I really like Lil Brimstone, because piercing tears, I suppose. You know, it's not going to help out with Lil Brimstone. I'm going to try to do probably the most of my damage with him to be honest but pop open I command it what are you doing okay well I guess these guys are just not really a huge fan of dying which I can't really blame them for so strange attractor does pull them around as well which is interesting to see and just fire at them normally that's probably the best way to do it so we will have to be careful here because I'm at a fairly sketchy health situation oh my goodness that is crazy how much these guys are drug around by the Strange Attractor. So, Strange Attractor makes those enemies really, really difficult to deal with. Just be aware of that. So, another thing I want to be do here is be really, really careful because, of course, we're on one heart left. So, maybe I shouldn't have taken a little Brimstone in hindsight, but I thought that was a good idea and I thought that it would make more fun. I'm not sure if I should open up that room. I would love to open up that golden chest, but not with one heart left. Well, we already found the boss, and it is a double trouble boss, so I think one thing I should probably do, I mean, if I could access this money, I'd be thrilled, but unfortunately I can't. I'm going to pop open the shop just to see if there's like a discounted soul heart, and there's not. Do I explore more of the floor, or do I YOLO it and go in the boss? I think what I do is I play Judgment, and then I look for my secret room. Please give me a health upgrade. A key. Okay, well, I did not need that. One thing I can do, in fact, is I can check. This should blow up the secret room if it's there. I'm not sure if I actually checked for it there, or the secret room is just not there. But uh, I guess I'll clear out a little bit more of the floor, try to get another nail charge, and then I'll go into the boss itself with a nail charge in tow, and probably feel a little bit better about things. This room should be fairly easy. Should be. It's not always the case, though. It doesn't always work out to be completely 100% what happens when you expect something to happen so I should be using little brimstone a little bit more as well because he's gonna provide me with some much much needed damage and there is another bomb which means I have another checking opportunity for the secret room so we're gonna go ahead and do that right here I have a feeling about this one no oh, my feeling turned out to be only that and nothing more but at least I have a nail charge so my damage will go up during this boss fight, as well as I'll have another soul heart to bargain with, so maybe a little bit of a lower chance of dying, which is nice. I like to prolong death as much as possible. Please give me something. Oh, dang it. Well, who knows? Oh, so we have girdlings? What do we have on the other side? More girdlings? So there's like four girdlings? That is crazy, mate. Oh, and I walked onto the creep as well. That was not the smartest idea I've ever had. But Little Brimstone luckily has unlimited range, so that means we can fire at these guys from across the room which is cool. I like the sound of that. So, turned out we did need the nail charge, in fact, and if I had gone into that without a nail charge, I would have died. Any devil room? I don't see one. Okay, moving on to the next floor. I have one heart, and I have no soul hearts. I don't feel amazing about this. We need to find a way to build up the soul hearts. <sighs> do I? Yeah. I guess I do. And it turned out there was indeed no health within those two golden chests. I thought, you know, there's a decent chance for some soul hearts or a health upgrade in there or something, so we'll try it. And it looks like with uh, Mega Fatty's breathe attack, he, like, 
drags his your tears towards you, or towards himself, I should say, which is quite interesting how they chose to do that. So Mega Fatty is actually kind of, you know, somewhat building towards his own demise here. But Okay, so Mega Fatty is dead. Please make the next boss be an easy one. It's not an easy one. It's Mega Ma. I believe that's what his name is. Oh, be careful here. I have, like, no health. Okay, just spawn enemies as much as you want. I don't mind too much if you do that, and he's dead. I'm also almost dead. Turns out that wasn't really worth it, but we managed to get out of there without dying. Uh, Red Heart damage probably Ill isn't all that important, since I highly doubt Wiggle Worm. Wow, how is that going to affect my shots? Um, It makes them, like, scatter around the... Uh, the air a little bit. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing, so I'll try it. Oh, uh, no, don't be careful. Or don't be careful, really? Why would I say that? So, unfortunately, Little Brimstone cannot attack enemies located on the northern wall because it's a glitch. So, Key Beggar, yes, sir. Definitely. I don't need these keys for anything else. Like the shop, maybe, I guess. But other than that, I don't need them. Soul Hearts, do it. Health up. I can see forever. Well, I can too. And Tears up. Two good pills, but unfortunately neither of them are health, so Strange Attractor can affect that particular enemy in really strange ways, so you gotta be careful about that one. However, we managed to escape, okay, well, the Boomfly was, yeah, yeah, this challenge freaking sucks, man. We're gonna continue, though. I think my mistake there was taking Little Brimstone, or maybe I shouldn't have taken the nail, I'm not sure, but Little Brimstone, I probably should have rolled with that and not taken the nail, but we're going to try again, 48 hour energy, and this will make, at least make it a longer video, because I know uh, one complaint with these particular challenges is that it doesn't make for that long of a video, because you know the challenge runs typically you only kill like Mom's Foot or something, so the video isn't as long as it normally would be. And all I have to do is kill Mom's Foot for this one. And you wouldn't expect that to be a hard thing. I'd be like, initially I thought, Mom's Foot? Really? That's all I have to do? That's not hard at all. And then I realized, oh, little did I know. Little did I know. It's just it, the weird way that the strange attractor affects enemies. And there's so many enemies that it just drags into you. Uh, such as, you know, the mini dingles and stuff like that. Make it very, very difficult to not take damage sometimes, and then when you have a run like the last one where we just weren't getting any health at all, um, it makes it a difficult challenge. So we almost have enough money for the shop already, which is really quite crazy. I expect that the secret room will be here. I don't know where else it would be. Keys? A spade. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use the spade, because the cool thing about this one is it has a chance of spawning a trapdoor, and then you can go down and get a free item or visit the black market. Either one of those are pretty good things, I would say. So, you know, overall, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with having the spade. Because it's a lot better than not having the space item. It kind of sucks that it has a six room charge. And it's really not good for skipping floors, because why would you do that? Why would you want to skip your boss item? You know, that doesn't make any sense. Like, boss item is a crucial part of a floor. And if you skip that, then you're not getting a boss item. I guess I could, uh, check out the shop I suppose but if there's something really good in there there never is because there's like never anything good in the shop but on the rare chance that there was like an untapped or something in there which um, you know I guess could happen I'm not sure if I have to unlock the untapped but I've never personally seen it before and I open up like at least a couple shops every run so you'd think after like 20 runs I would have seen it but maybe it's just a rare item and I know the untapped isn't as good as it used to be but something like that oh we took a soul heart damage that sucks not for this floor so much, but more for next floor. I like to... Okay, damage up. I'm happy with that. I think that's 0.5 damage up and like 1 range up. Something like that. So Anything that's a damage up, though, I am super happy with. Curse of the Blind means something. I'm going to put one key in there. Probably going to end up regretting that, but I will come back as soon as I have another key to put in there. How about that for a plan? And there also is a Tinted Rock. I see it. And we have, uh, I think, Master of Lockpicking. So that means I can open up golden chests for free. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on those rooms that require key doors. Ha! Huh, I can just drag them out of their habitat here. That's quite interesting. Come towards me, my slaves. Okay, so... I think that's really cool. I can just drag these enemies out and then kill them. That's kind of what I do to, you know, enemies in real life as well. But I do have some bombs. You know, if, this, if these bombs could wind up, you know, giving me some more tinted rocks, and then I could get some soul hearts and... Maybe get a deal with the devil, as long as they don't 
lose the red heart damage on this floor. I will get a deal with the devil, so that's what we're working towards now. Again, I still really want to see what Brimstone does with this particular item setup. I think that'd be really cool. Oh, this room is going to be tricky to not take damage in. I managed to do it so far, somehow. Not entirely sure how that happened. It's probably worth clearing out the rest of the floor just to see if I couldn't get myself a key. I imagine that the secret room is going to be here as well. What? You what, mate? It wasn't there, I suppose. So, who knows, maybe as I explore the rest of the floor. The location of the secret room will become immediately apparent, and maybe it won't, and I just will have wasted a key. I'm not sure. Key drop, please. That's what it's all about. A heart drop is not what it is all about. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. More heart drops. Okay, that golden poop would be nice to get to, but unfortunately I can't. I don't really understand the point of this golden poop. Unless I suppose you had a flying item, then you could take advantage of it, but otherwise, you know, you can't have it, so it's just kind of there. No tin rocks here, I don't think. Be careful. Don't take damage. That's our plan. One more tick of charge until we are ready to go digging again. I'm going to check here. I just have a feeling. And it's not there, so now I really don't have any sort of feeling whatsoever. My body is completely without any feeling at all. We'll take Bob's Rotten Head, and we will use it to check for a secret room, and then after that we will lay it right back down. Oh, that's sketchy. That's a sketchy way to use Bob's Rotten Head. I would take damage if I did that. We can uh, throw it south here. What? It's suspended in midair. That's interesting. So I guess Bob's Rotten Head also works with the strange attractor. So I've checked all of the likely locations for a secret room, and I haven't managed to find one. So I think that means it's boss time. Monstro? Oh, Larry Jr. I'm not really sure how Larry Jr. is affected by the strange attractor. I'm a little bit worried to find out, to be completely honest, but it looks like he is being dragged in some really weird ways that you wouldn't normally see from Larry Jr., though, so that's interesting. As long as I don't take damage against this guy, I will manage to get myself a double room, which is my plan at the moment, my plan for victory. As well as it is a blue champion, Larry Jr., which typically means that he will drop a soul heart upon death, which means we have a chance next floor for a double room as well. You can do it. Okay, I'll just spam shots here with my uh, trigger finger. I guess that's what Curse of the Unknown or the Blind or whatever it was means. Speedball. That's a terrible item. But we'll go in the devil room. I'll take it, YOLO. Guppy's Tail. Cursed. Maybe. So that wasn't a very good one, but who knows? Maybe we'll become Guppy or something like that. It could happen, so I managed to get Guppy's tail out of that. Oh, this room. <laughs> I am not looking forward to what Envy's mini heads are going to do. This is going to be insane. Insane in the membrane. You know what? Oh, I can't bomb my way out, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I can bomb my way out. That's crazy. Okay, I'll just have to be very careful with the running of the around. The running of the around. Totally legit new strategy. But... Um, yeah, just be very, very careful here. It's going to be really easy to take damage because those heads are just dragged all over the place. I do want that golden chest. We'll see. I also want this golden chest because I believe I can access... No, I guess I can't access the golden chest and the, uh, the other chest. Probably worth it. Balls of Steel Pill, please. Come on. Explosive Diarrhea, really? You would do that, mate, but at least I can use this Explosive Diarrhea. Uh, to access both the, um, yeah, exactly. I was going to use it to access, I'll use that right now. I was going to use this to access the, yeah, gray chest here, but unfortunately, it's not going to work out. I can kind of drag the gray chest, but I can't actually get to it. So I'm going to need two keys because I have two golden chests. Ah, uh, there's two keys in the very next room, but I can't even get to them because I don't have flights. Hanged man card would be awesome here. I will admit that. Okay, so we lost our last soul heart, so if I take any more red heart damage, no devil room. Although I can't see a devil room feasibly happening anyway, just with the way I've been playing. I highly imagine that the devil room will not become a thing, so if I get a bomb, we will have access to a golden chest, which I personally think would be awesome. And I really just want to complete this challenge, mates, but... Uh, we're not looking in a great situation right now, so things are going to have to change quickly. I'm going to need some health and fast. Kill you. A bomb drop would be nice, you know. 
Feel free anytime you want. Anytime you're free, give me a bomb drop. I'm just going to spam with the trigger finger. And there goes the red heart damage. There goes our devil room chance. But that's fine. I probably wouldn't have taken it anyway. Unless it was something real good that you couldn't pass up. And that wouldn't have killed me. I guess like something like brimstone would have killed me anyway. So I'm not really sure if that would be worth it. I imagine probably not. Uh, there's the soul heart after we take the red heart damage. As is custom. I think mom's toenail, what that does is that causes... Oh, I'm so dumb. We have the paperclip. Well... Let's go open up these golden chests. I apologize for being dumb. It just happens sometimes. But what mom's toenail would do is that would have a chance, I think a fairly rare chance, of mom's foot crashing down and doing damage to enemies, or to me, if I'm underneath it. So this is pretty awesome how I can just use this paper clip to open up these chests. Probably people are like saying, use the paper clip, why are you so dumb? And I would say, that's completely true. I just forgot about it. Because it's a trinket, and you don't usually spend a whole lot of time thinking about them, because they're just trinkets. But, I will go ahead and free this guy from his mushroom imprisonment. Could possibly get an item out of it as well, but I didn't manage to do that. But the key is going to help me access the shop, and I have a lot of money, so I think that, right now, is a good time to access the shop. Very justifiable. I guess I could check out this, and do it, because, you know, there's three red chests, and they're all bad, of course. Why not? Why not do that? I think it's a good idea. Three red chests and have them all be terrible, but I mean, I do have Guppy's paw, so or Guppy's tail. I apologize. So I was like, yeah, you know, let's let's go for the Guppy here. Give ourselves a fair shot. You can't you can't forgive yourself if you have Guppy and then you just don't go for it, right? You have to give the effort. So unfortunately, I got damaged by the stranger tractor there. I profited, you know, two cents in a bomb. Lost a soul heart in the process, so it probably wasn't worth it, but let's check for the secret room right here. I think this is a way to do it. We did blow up the mushroom as well, so I gave myself a chance of getting something from that mushroom. Didn't end up working out, and it won't always do that. So these guys, I think they give you a full heart of damage if you run into them, so I have to be careful about that. If there's too many tiers near to them, they just kind of like zoom down the trail of tiers, and they are quite painful if you run into them, so that's something to be wary of. I guess the uh, secret room could indeed be next to the shop, so we'll try it, and then I could potentially bomb my way into the shop. I can also do this. It is not a trapdoor, and the secret room is next to the shop, so I can bomb my way into there and just tons and tons of money. I don't need all this money. I probably won't use it for anything, but we'll bomb our way in. Bombs are nice, too. Oh, I guess I can't bomb my way in? Okay. Never mind, I'll go in the regular way. Maybe you can't bomb into shops anymore? I'm not sure how it works. Uh, I don't think this plug thing is worth it. What you can do is you can hurt yourself and recharge your space bar item. I don't think it's worth Oh, Dark One, really? Really, mates. So Dark One is a difficult boss. That's why I'm not so much of a fan of him. But we'll see. Maybe he'll be like super easy with the strange tractor. Um... When he does his charging attack, though, that's more what I'm worried about. But I can get him to just run into the tiers here. A little bit. Create a trap of him. I've only taken one heart of damage so far, which I'm really, really surprised about. It's more, yeah, his charging attack that I'm worried about. And then just unleash the tiers at him in full force. There, okay. I guess his charging attack isn't that bad to dodge. I don't know what I was freaking out about initially. Just die. Just die. Just die. Give me... Placenta, sure, regeneration and HP up. Which I don't think that's what placentas are actually made for, but that's what they do in this game. So, deal with it. Uh, golden chest would be worth it if I had a key, but I don't need one. That's right, because I have master lockpicking. Troll bomb. Golden chest this run haven't been so hot, but I have been able to open them up, so you know, there's at least that. I've given myself the chance. Oh, uh, the strange director is so bad in these rooms. I, I can totally see this challenge taking like 25 attempts. I don't know. I'm Yeah, I'll admit I'm pretty poor when it comes to challenges that require quick reaction time to dodge enemies. Uh, that's definitely one of my weaker points in Isaac. I can come clean to that, but that's how it is sometimes, right? So, two fairly likely locations for a secret room here. So, I'll definitely be checking both. I'll really, I just stand there and take the damage, but... I'll definitely be checking both of these out, and as you can tell, like, I'm still at base damage, so that's that's another thing to be upset about. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll be bombing that. 
could get this red heart to avoid death or at least prolong it a little bit longer. Secret room was found right away. This is a, a thing that happened. And just making a beeline for the boss fight now. Damage up would be appreciated. Remember, Isaac, I'm still on base damage, I believe. I guess I got meat at the very start of this run, or that might have been last run. I can't remember, but I had to get meat. I believe that was last run where I got meat, so I still, I think I am still at the basest of the base damage, so. Um, you know, I really should just be spamming these tiers, because that's going to lead to a lot less mistakes where I get hit because of the fact that I'm dragging enemies into me. So that's probably the way to go with uh, this particular challenge, but it's less fun. Yes, I will take a free golden chest. And the golden chests continue to be very, very underwhelming. Which, I don't know, maybe that's just the way that they are when you have Master of Lockpicking. They're like, we're going to give you a whole ton of free golden chests, but they're just not going to have anything good inside of them. One thing that would be really nice is if I got a trap door with something really good inside of it, such as, um, I don't know, Pyromaniac would be awesome and not get hurt on explosions. I always love getting that one. Or, I don't know, Black Market I guess would be okay, although I don't really have the health to justify buying anything there unless the item is very, very good. I'm just biding my time. These spiders will eventually die. I have foreseen it, and I guess... It happened, so now we can access our shop here. Hopefully get something good out of there. Try again. It's going to be yet another trap door, which I'm not going to access. I do not know what this is. A garbage can. A starter deck. Extra card room. Well, we got a card out of it, which is actually quite a good one. And I'm going to go ahead and buy a key, and I'm going to go ahead and buy this as well. And try yet again for a trap door. That would have been pretty bad if I went down it without access to the boss room, because, of course, I do need to access that boss room. I don't know why I'm buying these. It would be awesome if I got like a hanged man card that's a ton of free money. Is there anything in here? No tinted rocks whatsoever. There's our boss room though. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, this is so bad. I don't even know what to say right now. I think the uh, strange tractor still does affect enemies a little bit even if you're not holding your tears, even if you're just straight up firing them. It still does affect enemies to a point. At least I'm getting all my health back. The fallen. So we will get a devil item out of this, which is awesome. And also... Um, I use the devil card, so I actually have, you know, it's somewhat okay damage now. And, wow, he's just almost, like, stopped in his tracks when I, uh, use this strange attractor. Normally they charge right for you, and he's just kind of, like, hanging there. Oh, this is so bad, though. This is so bad, though. I have, like, no health left. We should be okay for the rest of this fight, though. Hearts. Brimstone. <laughs> okay. Well... This is interesting. This is what I wanted to try out, though. I did want Brimstone just to see how it would interact. And I think this Brimstone ball here actually does damage when enemies walk into it. So, you know, that's a, a thing. I don't think this is going to be all that great. I honestly don't. It's quite difficult to hit enemies this way, but we'll give it a shot. Um... Equa's Passage. I believe what that does is that opens up a doorway to the next floor. So pretty much the same thing that we'll just open up these balls. Hopefully enemies will be drugged towards them and they go into the portal of death. That's pretty cool actually if you think about it. Taste some of your own medicine, Brimstone Man. <clears throat> so I don't know if this, if this rune gives you a chance for a trap door. It didn't give me one that time. That doesn't mean it couldn't give you one though, so we'll We'll try it. You know, I kind of like this brimstone thing. Like, it's cool in concept, but it's obviously quite difficult to pull off. Okay, so I see what's going on there. You have to take damage in order to get a key. Sacrificing yourself for a key. How selfless, of course. Um, I guess that cannot be a secret room because it's inaccessible from one side. And we'll drag these guys into the portal of death. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe not so much. If that hits him, I'm going to be shocked, but... Wow, this is actually... You know, I, you would think you would really, really struggle to hit enemies just with the fact that you have to wait for your brimstone to fire for a couple of seconds. But I think we're doing okay. Regeneration from the placenta is always appreciated. Why? No, why wouldn't you get dragged towards the portal? Why would you... And you would have just seen a brief interruption in the recording. I do apologize for that. Oh, there's still enemies in this room. That's right, you know. Unfortunately... 
family happens from time to time. I try my best to edit those interruptions out every once in a while. I forget. So, continuing on, Psychic Tears are really quite dangerous right now. We're just going to lay down Brimstone Portals. I think one strategy that might work out fairly well here is just stay at a, a really far away distance. And, you know, that makes it, of course, extremely difficult to aim, but... Hey, I managed to hit him somehow. I couldn't even see the enemy, and I still managed to kill him. That is crazy. And definitely, I'm just going to go to town on the Soul Heart Machine. If this gives me a whole ton of Soul Hearts, that would be awesome. That would obviously make this challenge a lot, lot easier. And I additionally have, of course, the uh, spade ready to go as well, so I can give another chance towards getting a trap door. My placenta is also going to, over time, slowly regenerate my HP, which is nice. Look at all these cards. If those are like... If at least one of them is a hero font card, that's going to be extremely helpful. I'm just going to blow up all my money. Blow up my money. Yeah, that doesn't work. Use up all my money, I should say. And then I'll blow up the machine after that has been done. Alright, it's all gone. Only managed to get one soul heart, which is kind of sad. Chariot, the fool, the hero font. Okay, this is the one that I was really after. So two soul hearts out of that one. I'm not really sure what flatworm. Would that even affect me? Holy crap, it looked like the portal is huge. I think the Master of Lockpicking benefits us more in the long run, though. I guess we'll stick with the Chariot. I'm not really sure what happened to the Emperor's card, or maybe I used that one. So we'll blow that up, we'll get a Troll Bomb, which will not hit me somehow. And I will stick with the Chariot. I guess we do have the two cards, that's the main, that's, that's what's going on. I have the Emperor's card there. The Chariot would be really nice against Mom's Foot, because I could, uh, like, lay one of these portal trap things and then I could just use the chariot card and be invin invincible took some damage there no trap door but I wasn't really expecting one so that's okay um, I guess we're gonna head towards the south that'd be the general direction which seems to make sense because the only wow. no comment the only rooms that have not been explored yet are in this direction so let's go this way go towards the portal of death all oh, the damage though is being taken. That's so cool when you just drag enemies into there, but it doesn't always work out. Alright, another huge room. They just keep happening. All the bee lickers just get sucked into the portal. That's awesome. Okay, so bee lickers are probably one of the easier enemies to deal with with this shadow portal. Boom. Or I guess a brimstone portal would be the official term terminology for it. Also with this card deck thing, I know there is a way to switch between cards. I just couldn't really tell you what the buttons are in order to do that, so I'm a little bit confused. I'm trying out different buttons here, and they're not switching cards. I'll probably just look that up off camera or something if I remember to, which is really a big if, so we'll see. Shadow portal there, brimstone portal, okay. We're going to go with shadow portal just because that sounds way cooler. Shadows over Mordor. It was a good game. So, I guess I could check that out, but is there really a reason to? I have zero sense zero sense whatsoever so I, I need to lay this portal like directly on top of mom's hand there we go it gets dragged into it and it dies that was probably the easiest way to uh to deal with those that i could have thought of personally that's not going to work out so well i guess these things can't kill each other normally brimstone enemies can kill each other these ones can't though wow that went like directly on my head and it didn't hit me okay okay if you say so Here's what we're going to do. We're going to lay one there, pretend like I'm going to go that way, and this is really the struggle, isn't it? Really the struggle. How the heck am I supposed to hit them, man? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Am I going to die to this room because I literally can't kill these enemies? I'll just use the chariots. I can't damage you. Oh, man. I, I honestly don't know what to do to defeat these enemies. Because they like somewhat follow you a little bit. My uh, the speed at which my weapon fires is just too slow. Okay, I got one. I got one. Now we just have to kill the other without dying ourselves. I managed to not work make that work out so well. Okay, that was really a struggle. I never ever want to find that enemy type again. And we find the same enemy type, but in this situation, it's a much, much easier room because I can just do this and kill them that way. However, that does not negate the fact that I am low on health right now, and I think I need to go back to find some. It does say that there's some hearts in the room north of me, so 
I'll take the game's word for it. Are we on Necropolis 1? 22 minutes. That is really sad. But we are in Necropolis 1, which means that we have one more floor to go after this. And I'll probably save my Empress card for, you know, the mom fight itself. So, although actually this enemy is probably more difficult than mom, so I will uh, use my thing here. I got hit by my own brimstone. I thought it was the enemy's brimstone. There we go. That was way easier than I thought it would be. So this is, in fact, a tears up. And of course I'm going to use my four bombs that I need for no other reason to destroy these fires. And try at least attempt to get soul hearts from them. And one of them paid out. Two of them paid out. I think it's a 25% chance. It might be a 33% chance to get soul hearts from those fires. So that actually worked out really well. Curse of the Lost, perfect. You know what would be really nice right now is... Oh no! To not die. But additionally, beyond just not dying... The simplicity of that is the fact that it'd be really really nice uh oh there's spiders spawning never a good thing to find with uh, brimstone here oh my goodness the damage though the damage though there's just so many freaking heads man okay this room is quite the difficult challenge okay he should be dead and now of course there's a spider alive just to make things a little bit more complicated when well, they didn't need to be finally so all of my soul hearts are now gone Interesting how you would choose to do that to me game. Just curious, but um, hopefully the flies will be dragged right into that portal there. There we go. Kill you. This actually works out fairly well. So I just really, really hope that I don't have to do this again. Although with the way things are going, I wouldn't be surprised. There we go. Placenta is going to result in a little bit of regeneration for me. So we'll drop one there. Just to destroy him, just to get some revenge on the flies that caused me so much pain. And, oh no, oh no, no, these enemies again, and this time they have skull buddies. Man! Just when you're like, oh, this room sucks. It really does, it honestly sucks. I wish you could destroy those skull enemies so bad. I really wish you could. That's gonna hit him. Oh, that was so close, it did get him at the very last second, just as he was moving. There we go. Okay, I I honestly could not tell you how I didn't manage to take damage during that room. I fully expected to. Full disclosure, but uh, it would be kind of cool to blow up some of these skulls. I don't know if it's worth it, though. You'll get dragged towards the shadow portal, and you will die. That's what I like about the shadow portal. Is snow tinted rocks? I don't think so. Nope. I checked quickly, but it still counts. And we'll go north this time. More of the uh, knights that just get dragged right into these portals, and it works out very, very well. So, I mean, this is obviously a really cool way to kill enemies. I wouldn't exactly call it a, a really good way to kill enemies. And I could go down to Womb 1, but it wouldn't complete the challenge for me. I think what happens if you go down to the next floor like that is you have to kill the boss of Womb 1, and then that counts as the challenge complete. I don't think you get screwed if you go down to the next floor by accident or something, though. But I'd still have to, like, complete an entire floor in a boss... And I don't see that as being easier than just beating Mom's foot, so I don't think that's necessarily a great plan. We'll try what's in here. I will blow up these two skulls. A black heart or an emperor card or something would be awesome. You know, or just a little skull dude. That's fine as well. So you should be dragged into that. Are you just going to immediately die? He is. How convenient. Is there anything else here? Was it just that, like, one hive monster? I guess there probably has to be another one, right? Yeah, yeah, I figured. So unfortunately, I can't really shoot at him. But what I can do, I guess I can do this. Get dragged into the portal, you'll die. That was awesome. I love seeing that. I never tire of seeing that. We should be done now. Is there anything juicy? I don't think so. That's kind of crazy, that humongous gap that there was. Everything's just dragged into the portal and immediately dies. That's crazy, like, how effective this is in certain rooms, but how completely ineffective it is in many many others black heart would be nice but it's not going to happen just figured that i might give it a shot oh i guess i haven't gone this way i kind of thought i would have been this way already because that would make sense get dragged into the shadow portal of death i love that all right two more rooms then we have our item charge be something good high priestess mother is watching you she always is so that chub is almost dead, and now he is dead. I can fully guarantee that. 
I'll probably just like lay a shadow portal over on the other side there or do this which like won't even hit Chubb. Uh, I'm scared though I don't want to run over there when there's like a million enemies spawned so I'll just play it safe fire some brimstone beams over the gap and hopefully that will eventually hit them you know what you gotta act like a man sometimes goodbye Chubb. oh that didn't actually kill him this one should though almost he's very near death goodbye and you're dead as well um there is a northern path I believe I'm gonna go down this way though first because why not this should be able to destroy that TNT it was in fact able to do that Another thing down to Mom's Womb, I don't know if I can spawn trap doors or anymore or if everything's just going to be a portal to Mom's Womb. Yes, I think that's worth two keys when I have a golden key and they don't cost anything. Definitely. Three coins wasn't really worth it, but it was worth a shot. I have a feeling that the Mom's fight is going to be this way. Chop. Something good. Five bombs. I'll take it just for the five bombs and I'll take the Magician because who knows how that would turn out. I guess the remote detonator is probably better than, you know, portals to the womb that I'm not even going to take, so I'll, I'll roll with that. Let's just drop this here, and the knights will be dragged into it. That's the strategy. That's probably the way that I should have been using this item all along, and I haven't been for the most part because I've been trying to play it safe. Oh yeah, I have the remote detonator. I forgot for a second. And we will take the stars, which I'll just use as a teleport here oh yeah and we cannot see our map because it's hidden because of curse of the lost but it didn't put us too far off where we were already there is a boss in this room it's pin no pins actually gonna be really difficult to kill um, with our particular setup here so one thing that I should do I guess oh the boss room is here so I actually have to complete this room I was gonna say I could just bomb my way out I guess but I can't do that so that did a fair amount of damage to Pin, and Pin just got dragged into the portal there. I think if you lay it at like the perfect spot, it does drag a Pin in. That should hit him. It didn't. Oh, let's just get one of these Pins dead. There we go. Did it quite a bit of damage on the Pins. I'll probably have to go back to like find a heart or something after this. I'm curious to see how the Magician will work with this, but I'm going to go ahead and save that for the Mom fight. Okay, one pin left. I think we can ma manage to deal with one. That should hit him a little bit. Not as much as I would have hoped. Just be patient. Just be patient. Just be patient. Just be patient. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. It was fun. And you do not have a heart. Actually, you do have a heart. So, you know, I'm one heart shy, but let's just go into the fight. And it's Red Mom this time. So, Red Mom actually won't be that difficult to deal with. So, I have no idea what the Magician is going to do for me. But, I'm sure that's going to do something really, really great. I'm also not sure if you can cheese this fight um, with the Red Mom. I don't think you can. I don't think it works the same way as cheesing the fight. With the... Oh, man, that was bad. So we got to be really careful here, really, really careful, because I really, really don't want to die. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I died there. I got hit twice by mom's foot, and those are like so easy to avoid. Well, I'm officially the worst Isaac player of all time, and I've tried this challenge four times. You guys didn't see the first two because, or three times, I think. You guys didn't see the first one, but man, this challenge. I really hate the challenges in Rebirth, I'm just going to be honest, they are not fun. But, we tried. Farewell.